Hi everyone, so I am doing mermaid today. Mermaid just started the other day and this is a challenge where you draw a mermaid every day in the month of May. And my prompt list is going to be all about different aquarium pets that I like or that I have or that I want to have or just like cool things you can have in an aquarium. Specifically freshwater aquarium and today I wanted to do a snail and a specific kind of snail is a nerite snail which is like a really good algae cleaner in your fish tank and I just think they're cute little snails. They come in tons of different colors. I like the ones that are horned with like the spikes on them so that's what I'm going to be basing it off of probably. And I'm thinking of doing a female mermaid and I'm just gonna jump right into it. I might start by just like loosening up a bit, just drawing some mermaid poses. Just from Google Images, I'm trying to like just get warmed up a bit. Even though this one isn't going to have a tail, it's going to have a shell, but that's okay. I can't wait till I start to actually draw fish, because so far I've done a shrimp and the snail. Um, but I'm excited to do a fish. I think, I don't know if I'm going to tell what my plans are. You're going to have to see what I end up doing. If I can make it through Mermaid, I'm attempting it. It's not a guarantee that I'll make it through, but right now I feel like it's doable. So I'm not really behind yet. I'll probably be posting a lot of the behind the scenes sketches of this on my Patreon if you are interested in that. I added some new reward, uh, a new reward there for the, um, the top two tiers of like a podcast every month of just answering questions and just chatting about stuff verbally. There's also like a written newsletter every month. Shameless plug. <laughs> okay, so the snail I'm talking about looks, it's kind of like... like this. You don't really see their body. It's usually like kind of hidden under their shell. Um, but they can have these little spikes on them. I don't have one with spikes. I have a zebra. Not a zebra one. It's like, actually I think it is a zebra one. And um, it has stripes on it. I'll try to get footage. I don't know. He's like very elusive and hard to photograph. But I thought it'd be fun to turn this into a mermaid. This one has a good angle too, it's like, usually like a stripe like this and it's black and the horns. So I think the horns could be a cool thing to play with on the body, like the mermaid could have horns on her, around her skin or like whatever. And their um, tentacles, not in tentacles, antenna, are kind of small. Okay, so I saw a pose that I kind of liked and I might use part of it. I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate the body with the snail shell. Especially because it's like more inside of the shell, like you don't really see a lot of the snail's body. But there's still a little bit that shows out. This might be a lot weirder than I thought it was gonna be. Imagine being a mermaid, but you're just a snail mermaid. Like, <laughs> tragic. I might have to make it more of an opening like that. Would you just like crawl along the ground? Like I don't know how that would work. Or like what if it wasn't like that's just her body? Like what if... What if it's like... 
on her back. I don't know if that makes any sense. Her arms are like that sh that snail material. <laughs> Her hair is kind of like slimy. I don't know if that's too weird or too basic. I think this is like the closest to what I want, but it's not exactly what I want yet. Okay, I'll do like one more thumbnail sketch because that is close over here well i don't think i need to do a thumbnail sketch because that is the thumbnail maybe i'll just wing it gonna try it gonna do it so her shell is like this the snail part to kind of look like bored because she's or maybe she's like really angry and her hair should be like goopy slimy <laughs> I don't know if I want that exactly. Something just looks off. <laughs> Maybe she's like decorated her shell or something. Don't need that. Maybe she's cursed to be a snail mermaid. I actually might do this with gouache. <laughs> I changed my mind. So I don't think marker will take well to all the erasing I've done. And I don't really like marker that much, so I'm gonna do this like underpainting, fill it in with some color first. I kinda like this design, except for it's hard to tell like how she's attached to the shell, but I just imagine her body just transitions to a snail. There's not much torso, like she just has like upper torso. Maybe pencil crayon, I don't know. I've been wanting to get into more pencil crayon stuff, so I'm actually happy I'm doing this. Because I like it a lot, it's just tedious, and I only like to do it for small-ish things. I think I need a dark color. This dark brown could work.
The thing about these snails is their bodies are actually like grayish. Like they're very dark purpley gray. Which is kind of cool. But I'm doing sort of like a limited palette here I guess. I'm trying to do the black stripe, even though it's more of a brown right now, but I can keep layering colors on top. I just wish pencil crayon didn't hurt so much. It hurts my hand. Is there a way for it to not hurt? Get the excess off the page. Okay, I need something to dull down the yellow. Maybe this is what I need to use. I think what I struggle with the most with pencil is the contrast. I could keep adding to this over and over and over. <laughs> but I don't know when I should stop. It'd be cool to paint over this digitally a bit. After I scan it in before I post it. pretty much it for this mermaid. I really hope you enjoyed watching me use pencil crayon. I haven't used them in so long. I think there's some areas where I overworked it but I need to step back and look at it later so I can actually tell how I feel about it. I might paint over it digitally just to add a bit of stuff to it. I'm not sure but um, this is pretty much it. Let me know if you're doing mermaid as well and what prompts you're following if you're doing any, if you're doing it every day or every other day. And make sure to check out my Patreon like I said for behind the scenes sketches and newsletters and I send out packages every month with exclusive prints and postcards and a journal page about a different creature each month. I might do a mermaid one maybe? I'm not sure. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!